Hey guys, Ben here from Themeco and we are still discussing the topic of overlapping content. In the first video, I showed the steps on how to accomplish a vertical overlapping content effect using negative margins. Towards the end of that video, I mentioned that using negative margins is still the way to go if you want to achieve a horizontal overlapping effect, but that it's a bit trickier because there are extra steps and things to consider. In this video, I'll walk you through those extra settings so that in the end, you'll be able to successfully execute a horizontal overlapping effect like this. So if you're ready, let's get started. The first thing to do is to add a row with two columns. Then add the elements on each column and I will use the image element that or the image pre presets that I have already created. Good. Now here's one thing to consider. On an Internet Explorer browser, what you'll be seeing is something like this, which is obviously broken. It's ugly and it's totally terrible and we need to fix it. And to fix it, we need to specify a width value to both images and the width value must be anything other than auto and to keep things simple i will give it 100 percent for this image and do the same to the other image perfect if you've done that and saved your work and checked it on an internet explorer browser you will have something like this now that that is out of the way, let's get to the meat of this tutorial, which is the actual overlap. So click on the image that will do the overlapping and go to margins and on the link sides option, make sure that the first button is clicked. Then give the left margin a negative value and I'll just give it a negative 150 value and the very moment you have typed, I have typed it you can see that the overlap has already occurred. Then following the original example, I will add a positive top margin to push the image down. And there you go. Very easily we have recreated the design that uh, we want to follow. But there is a problem. You can see that the images are not centered. The space on the right is a lot wider than the space on the left, causing uh, the images to look off and we need to center them. So the strategy that we will be applying is instead of giving the entire pressure to this image here, the pressure of moving to the left, we will make the two images meet halfway. And uh, this is what I mean. So instead of giving a negative 150 to this image, we will cut this in half and make it 75. Then on the second image, we will give it a positive left margin of 75. So basically we have achieved the previously negative 150 overlap, but this time uh, the two images met halfway giving it the same effect but this time they are centered within the screen so that is how you do it and you might probably be asking is there a different way something that doesn't require applying margins to two images something that doesn't require some kind of calculation even if it's just minimal something that does the centering automatically and the answer is yes so we will do it on a different section and this time instead of using a two column row we will just use a one column row then as before we will add the preset images but this time we'll put them inside one row one column and this is what it looks like then the next step oh i, I will also like us to apply the same 100% 150 
with that we have applied to the two images previously so that we will not have a problem with uh, the Internet Explorer browser. And after you've done that, I'd like you to select the column that contains these two images. Then on the Flexbox layout option, click on. Then for child placement, select row and uncheck the wrap. Now you have the two images placed in one row. The next step is to select this image that will do the overlap. Then just like earlier, we will give it a positive 100 pixel top margin and a negative 150 left margin. Now, even if we use the negative 150, the images are still centered. And even if I go all the way to negative 250 without a single calculation in my mind without an additional effort for me the images are still centered and which is really great so you can even adjust the width also I'm going back to 150 negative 150 and to adjust the width of this entire row we can simply select row then uh, go to uh, global locate a global container you can turn it off and set a specific maximum width or even you can even use the width as well so I will just use uh, 1050 pixel now you might ask the question is this just applicable to image elements what if I want to use a text element or a headline element or a button well the answer is yes in fact I have here a headline element being overlapped by a text element that contains a contact form 7 shortcode so yes it's possible okay so let me give you one last example because I think the lesson here is quite important I have here a row element and it is overlapping the image element similar to what the other examples have done and the difficulty arises when you discover or remember that a row element doesn't have or has the right and left margin options disabled. So how do you go about solving that? And I will demonstrate it by selecting this raw row element here. We will make this intersect with the image. The image. So. I'm going to select the row then I will do a quick win by adding a 100 pixel top margin to push it downwards then comes the uh, I won't say a tricky part it's uh, it's the more complicated part compared to this easy one right here so still on the row click customize then element CSS then type this code or simply copy the code that we have provided now this code basically means we are selecting this current row, uh, we are targeting this current row element. Then quite simply write margin left and the negative value of the margin. And very easily the overlapping effect has occurred. You can do the same techniques that uh, we have discussed earlier and that is to share the margins instead of giving a totally negative 150 to the row element we can make it 75 and add the other 75 the positive 75 to this image and you can also use the um, the one column technique this wraps up this video now you know how to execute a horizontal overlapping content